Um, but anyway, let, let's talk about the Chicago Bears. They got to make a serious decision because this is now their second consecutive time they have the number one overall pick. They, look, last year they had the number one overall pick. They traded to Carolina. Carolina drafted Bryce Young. Now they have the number one overall pick. Caleb Williams, whether he comes out, I think he should come out. A lot of comparisons between him and Patrick Mahomes. But he struggled this season in large part because of Lincoln Riley. The defense, they struggle. Not the type of season he had last year. Last year, he won the Heisman Trophy. Champ, you mentioned this last week on the show. You talk about USC quarterbacks and how they've had a lack of success transitioning to the NFL quarterback, NFL level outside of Carson Palmer. That's the only quarterback I know, and to a lesser extent, Mark Sanchez, because we can't Sanchez ignore his, his like two years. His, but then he got back-to-back back AFC Championship games. But at he best, he was a game manager during that time. But outside of those first two years, he was terrible. So I mean, the worst was Matt Liner by far. Matt Liner, but Mark Sanchez, particularly in year four, brought. Let's not forget the butt fumble. <laughs> when they had Tim Tebow, and he led the NFL in well, turnovers that season. So uh, I'll take you back even further than that. Who is Tom Marinovich? Yes, Tom Marinovich. Yes, and Tom Marinovich. He washed out the league in two years. He got drafted by the Raiders in the first round in I think nineteen ninety one. Right. So, Broad, if you're the Chicago Bears GM, you have the number one overall pick. You still have Justin Fields, who's a talented quarterback. But you're not that big on Justin Fields yourself. Should they trade him? Should they trade the number one overall pick? Should they keep the number one overall pick and draft Caleb Williams? Or if they feel like Fields is their quarterback, I think they should exercise his fifth-year option and not make the same mistake that the New York Giants did. Remember with Daniel Jones? They didn't pick up his fifth-year yeah. option. He improved the following season, made the playoffs, won a playoff game, and then they paid him $40 million. And how's that turn out so far for the Giants? So if you're the GM broad of the Bears, what do you do? Yeah, no, Ryan Poles, he is stuck in a very interesting situation because, I mean, Justin Fields, he he's shown throughout the season that he can do it, but I, I don't think they fully trust him. So obviously Caleb Williams is right there. You're not going to draft Olu or Joe Alt first overall because offensive linemen rarely have success when they're first overall. I mean, look at the last guy, freaking uh, what's Eric. Well, Eric Fisher won a Super Bowl, but still wasn't that great with Kansas City. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's tough because do you pass up on I mean, Caleb? Like or do you shock everybody by drafting a guy like Olu, Joe Alt, or even some some way somehow Drake May first overall? It's it, it's. Uh, <laughs> mm. yeah. Not too pleased with the number one pick, huh? I mean, it's just a it's just a messy situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So in Broad's mind, he he is. At best, unsure about what they should do. Trey, if you're the GM of the Bears, what are you going to do? I'm looking at their first pick. And I'm like, let me see, can I finesse another team in the tank in this first pick? Which team do you want? To see get the number one pick, Trey, if Chicago trades. In Chicago trades. Who would more? Who be the quarterback really bad? The Falcons, the Steelers. Uh, who else am I missing? Oh, PSP, you fine with your quarterback? Um, no. With Sam Howell, I've been trying to tell folks that he's a quality quarterback but i think the biggest problems are offensive linemen defensive linemen champ and i we've discussed this washington they had to trade up montez sweat chase young i i hated it i didn't mind chase young being traded because of durability problems 
Montez, mm-hmm. and you see how well Montez has been balling. I told you, yeah. Jim, he's he's capable of yeah, having he, caliber. Yeah, he's at twelve. Uh, yeah. But if I'm Washington and we have the number two pick, mind you, we could draft Drake May. But I think with Washington, there are other things that we have to address. We have to address our old line because yeah, Champ will. Be, you no, know, we have to. We got to address our old line because our old uh, line has been shit this season. And Champ will tell you this oh. a fact: Hey, quarterbacks can't throw behind their back. He's been telling me that all yep. season yep. long. No matter what quarterback you have, even if you put Patrick Mahomes there behind that old line, oh, that's a world of trouble. Yeah. Champ, can I can I tell you something, Champ? Yeah. So so let's so let's say this. What if you guys get Justin Fields? He'd be How happy would you with feel? It. Like, listen. I mean, well, I don't know if you guys talked about the Russ situation, <laughs> thing, but I think I. God damn it, right? Oh, but but if you guys <laughs> you, want Russ, you you want Russ in the ATL, Harrison? I, no, you, if you know. You know he got to deal oh, with future no, and bow wow and all that you other know, shit. You know, that's the, I was trying to talk to, I was trying to talk to Chad, but no, you he, he fucked me up. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> man. You, you, you talk with that man, Chad. <laughs> but listen, if you guys get Russ, I don't think Russell Wilson should not go to Atlanta. Here's the here's the reason why. You guys are nothing but a ground and pound type of offense, correct? Because you guys you guys know nothing but running the ball. If you ball, have yeah. Justin Fields, if you have Justin Fields in that offense with Drake, because you guys you have a good offensive line, you have a good tight end, you have Drake London. I mean, that looks like you have a shot to win the South next year. You guys can win ten games. Would you take Justin Fields? Yeah, and from what I'm hearing, they're asking for two third round picks at this point for him. But here's what I would rather do. Rather than trade any picks, I would rather get either Russ or Kirk Cousins at this point, still draft a quarterback in the first round, give Russ or either Kirk Cousins like a two-year deal, go get T. Higgins to pair him up with Drake London and see how it goes. That's what I would do for Atlanta. As far as if I am the Bears, I'm doing exactly what Trey did, except I'm picking up the phone and I am calling the Las Vegas Raiders to see – if you're willing to give up Max Crosby to get Caleb Williams. And if you are, I want him a first and a second because I want to compare. I want to get him and on one side and Montez Sweat on the other side. And then guess what? I'm going to build my draft. I, I was going to say that, but. Oh, my God, man. Yeah, I was going to say something to that, but I, I was going to say if they call Washington, right? And they tell Washington, hey, we you got the first pick right now. You just got to do one thing for me. You got to give us Terry McGoin. Mm. Mm. I swear, Jam, all I'm going to say is Justin Fields. I, 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 I feel goal. like y'all trying to Ooh, aggravate me about run? this Washington shit. No, no, <laughs> yes. no. I haven't said shit. I, say I know you haven't. Fall. I know you haven't, but. <laughs> People have been asking me, man, PSP, y'all this close to getting the number one overall pick. Y- y'all have the number two pick. Would y'all like to get the number one pick for Caleb Williams? Yes. But I got other shit I got to address. Yeah. But yeah the first is the worst and phone. second is the best. I mean. I, will but pick I, I just want to I just wanna go back to something that Champ said. Yeah. Like how you can't throw on your back. I have argued this with people. Obviously, people are going to say the quarterback is the most the most important position because of the powerhouse of the offense, of the brain, this and that. No, I, I disagree. It's left tackle. No, not even just left tackle. It's the offensive line as a whole. Yeah. Oh, Running back's not going to be able to get – it's not going to be able to hit any holes without blocks. And receiver, <laughs> nice try getting the ball without an offensive line. Yeah, but like That's I said, I mean – I always say this, man, and I'm biased because I was a lineman in high school. Damn here. But, hey, like I said, quarterback can't throw on his back. And guess what? Hey, if you ain't got a, if you don't have an offensive line, you're three ways from Sunday messed up. Think of all the, I always say this. Think of all the great teams throughout NFL history that had great offensive line. 90s Cowboys, the Hogs. Yeah, the Hogs, 
the San Francisco 49ers, that team in the Eagles. 80s. I mean, think about the, the Eagles from last year. I mean, Eagles from last year and 2017. Well. And remember, that Super Bowl, they were without their team captain and starting left tackle and also future Hall of Famer, Jason Peters. Yeah. So we had to rely on a guy who I had no idea who the hell it was. Halapui. I, I not even gonna attempt that announcement. Halapui. I type. Yeah, Halapui. Big V. Yeah. <laughs> I love that dude, Big V. I Big. mean, the only two games he showed up was the NFC Championship game against the Vikings and the Super Bowl game. That was the best That's I saw. Much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I I still remember my little brother abroad. Believe it or not, he's an Eagles fan. He oh my god, he shreds Big V all the time. But champ, I don't mind that Raiders trade though, yeah, because Caleb would, Williams oh. did mention a list of teams he would love to play for, and he included the Raiders. He yeah. mentioned the Cowboys, the Dolphins, the Vikings. He also mentioned the Raiders because of the market, Las Vegas. But the thing is though. Washington, can we really believe it though? That that's the problem. You there, could believe you could believe it only because of Josh Harris and Magic Johnson. No, I'm, I'm talking about no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about his desired list of teams because you know how much fake shit no, is out there on the internet now. No, but the only reason why it would sell because Caleb Williams, believe it or not, is from DC. Oh, I know Washington right doesn't. Yeah, although Washington does not play in D.C. And by the way, Washington, go build a fucking stadium in D.C. Nobody wants to see them in Landover, Maryland. And if you're going to build a fucking stadium, build it with great structure. The field is terrible. Bro, yeah, you know that. You saw Jalen Hurts. Now the only team that's actually going to be in D.C. in the future is the uh, National I'm going to say it is, dog. I'm going to just say this to the commanders. As a as a Raven fan, please get out of our state. Get out of Maryland. <laughs> it's gonna take us time in order for to, to do that. We're gonna have to pay a huge sum of money in order for us to move to DC. But um, only reason that why I would sell Caleb Williams to the Commanders is because he's from DC. Magic Johnson. Look, you can't rule out Magic Johnson because anything he touches. Turns to gold, and we can't disregard the body of work he's done in Los but Angeles. In they, Los Angeles, yeah, but they need but to the like, destroy that. Or uh, yep, the the Dodgers, stadium yeah. is crazy because you know it's embarrassing when they picked it as a venue and then de and then decided not to go forward with the venue for the 2026 World Cup, and that's the first time in I forget how many years that a capital city in the host country will not host a World Cup game. But I would. But where would y'all like to see Justin Fields? If you if, if if you still keep him in Chicago, I immediately exercise that fifth year option. Immediately exercise that fifth year option because you're going to make the same mistake like Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones played well in year four, and he got because, the bag. You want to pay he, Justin Fields forty million? No, you don't. Hell no. My thing is this. If you're going to do anything with Justin Fields, here's, here's what I would do. Like I said, I will pick up that phone, call Las Vegas, say, hey, you can have the number one overall pick for Max Crosby, Hunter Renfro, and us, and a first and a third. That's what I want. It gives a weapon to – it gives a slot receiver to Justin Fields. It gives us another pass rusher to go along with uh, Montez Sweat. And plus we have a little bit more cap room as well. Then, depending on what happens in the draft, depending on how the picks fall, I'll draft him Brock Bowers. Ooh, I would love that. So, Brock Bowers, Hunter Renfro, DJ Moore. I would love that. Oh, yeah. my God, bro. Uh, that, that'd be They're big. set up for success. And then, on the, then you already got the bookends on defense. You just need to go into free agency and draft a linebacker because – you did a very, very bad injustice to the Chicago franchise by trading Raquan Smith for a second round pick. How crazy can you be? <laughs> at a certain point, at a certain point? You literally traded a two time all pro linebacker for a second round pick. I was literally, when they did that, I crap you not. 
I literally was going through every single news outlet to see what did Raekwon Smith do wrong. Because for you to get rid of for a, for essentially a song, it's he won a hundred mil. Yeah, but then the, but, but but yeah, you know no what, problem. champ? You know what it reminds you of the D Hop trade to Arizona. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to bring that up too. Yeah, because <laughs> you traded DeAndre Hopkins at that point, one of the elite clear. receivers in football, and you trade him to the Arizona Cardinals. And you don't get him a first round pick, not not one yeah. or two in return. But the thing that shocked me the most is because not only did the Bears draft him, but the Bears are the cornerstone for the linebacker position. They're the cornerstone. I and mean, the defense was, too. Yeah. And he was supposed to be the next great linebacker for the Chicago Bears. In fact, he was. I mean, he was at I mean, at one point he averaged he got 160 tackles a year. I mean it's like, and he's all pro. So for you to trade him, that definitely set the franchise back a bunch. Because can you imagine? Yeah, get that. Go ahead. And man. on top of that, get what happened. Get what happened. Baltimore got him. You know what they did? They said, oh, you want 100 mil? Oh, no problem. We'll, we'll sign it up for you right now. <laughs> And they and make and essentially he's the Ray Lewis of that team right now. He's not as good as Ray Lewis was, but he's essentially the emotional leader of that team right now. But yeah, there's been a lot of people point to the quarterback position as far as the Chicago Bears, but there's been a lot of mistakes over the course of the last couple of years. That being one of the main ones for me, for you to trade Ray Quan Smith for a second round pick, because I legitimately thought he got into some legal trouble. When that first happened, I said like, he must have got into some legal trouble, and they ain't brought it out yet. I waited three days in order to even like say anything. So either was, he must have uh, either either legal trouble or he must have done something to the Bears organization. Yeah, that probably but, infuriated but, them because but that's because what I was I, I, I that remember. Point. Well, champ. Also, yeah, all I remember was asking for a hundred mil, and then it was like. They wouldn't give it to him, so I guess they was like trying to get him to budge, and he wasn't budging. When it comes to the Bears with their quarterbacks, they they are notoriously known as one of the worst teams to have a quarterback because they are the only team in the NFL, the only franchise, without a 4,000-yard passer. And the best quarterback mm -hmm. they've had in this generation, Jake Cutler. Yeah. And the best quarterback they've had in history, you got to go back to the year when they won the Super Bowl champ with uh, Jim McMahon. Yeah, Jim McMahon. That's, he's not their best quarterback of all time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sid, go. Sid Gilman. Her, oh, I, I go apologize. Further back. It's like Sid Luckman. Sid Luckman, my bad. But that just tells you how bad the quarterback play has been in Chicago and how you haven't been able to find so and develop one. So. You're gonna have to make so a serious bad. decision on that, but it's not gonna be easy.